friends, MD Vegan. I make a cashew milk today, a lemony cashew milk. I made so many cashew creams for my fruit salads and I use cashew in many ways. Uh, and also I have made only cashew milks already with cinnamon flavored or other flavors. Um, today I make it with just lemon. I have here half cup of cashews. That's a fair amount of cashews. And when I use it in a cashew cream, I take a little bit of water, maybe some bananas and lemon and some of these seasoning maybe, and then I have a wonderful cream to make a dressing. But this is so delicious, this cashew dressing, that I thought, hmm, why don't I make a drink? And well, here comes another one. And it's, co it's hot outside and you have a cold cashew drink, cold cashew milk. It's a wonderful refreshment. It's very nourishing. You can't eat enough nuts, or no, no, not too many. You can, I mean, maybe you could, but it's a lot of fat in a nut. So people say, oh, don't eat too many nuts, that makes you fat. You get to gain weight is one of the most uh, difficult uh, health issues. You should not have uh, too much weight, that takes lifetime away. It's a very um, hard burn on our body. We should get rid of uh, uh, excess weight. And we should not uh, tolerate that in our body. And yeah, I, I'm figuring it out too. Sometimes a little bit too much, then I go down again. And I find a diet that uh, would keep me um, appropriately uh, in good shape. It's so important for the health, so well being. And the older I get, the more I notice that. So it's important. But the nuts, you know, with raw nuts like these here, they don't give you excess fat. It's so interesting because the raw nuts, they have something maybe in them. They don't exactly know the reason, but they know that it is a fact. You know, that you don't gain weight if you eat additional nuts to your diet. It's a nice snack because of that. Raw nuts, one explanation for that might be that the nut has something in itself that makes the cells of the body burn more energy. And the additional energy you get from the fat of the nuts is burned any more. So you rather lose weight if you have these nut snacks almonds, you know, walnuts, all these hazelnuts, you can snack on them actually. It's so super healthy, they're really are actually healthy. They are expensive of course because nuts take a lot of water when you produce them. That's the downside, that's why nuts are precious. Yeah, we don't, shouldn't eat so many because it's expensive and it takes a lot of energy from nature. So they're one of the most expensive plant foods we have are nuts. That's a fact. But not for the health. They are super healthy. If you can eat snack on nuts, enjoy. They're really great. I have a little bit on um, the fair trade and these kind of things. You can check that out. You find a nut that is fair traded. It's okay. You pay a little bit more, but you have that in good consciousness. I guess that's also a little bit you might want to, uh, if you can afford it, of course. Yeah. Also, both sides always. Even the workers who are hurting their hands when they do these nuts, yeah, especially cashews. Even these workers, they do it also by choice. They don't want to lose their jobs. I've seen documentaries of it. Of course, I try to find cashews that are fair. The workers have gloves on. But some of these um, self-organized working groups in other countries, in the South and the East, they decide not to use these gloves. They don't want them. And they ruin their fingers. It is harmful. You know, that's not good. We should change that. But even if you buy these kind of cashews, you still help these workers. It's a very um, complicated story. I think it is better to get these nuts than not. Yeah. But if you can afford it, yeah, I would recommend take the fair ones. That's better. I can do that. I don't eat that many nuts because I always tune down a little bit because yeah, I have unlimited <laughs> resources. But yeah, just a little bit of it. So now, enough of that. Uh, half cup of cashews today, and um, the lemony flavor comes from the lemon and the and the zest. Yeah, this is uh, this is one large lemon or two small ones. I had very small ones this time, so I take two small ones, very small ones. And then to balance the lemon and to also give them the the milk a little bit creaminess, uh, dates. I have five dates here. See, these are wonderful dates, and this is the zest, part of the lemon. And the lemony flavor comes from the zest. The lemon itself, the flesh, is only sour. The lemony flavor comes from the zest. And most of these are wonderful nutrients in the lemon, the most healthiest ones, they are in the zest. 
if you can have a chance, if you have a chance to get them. And that's what makes these nut milks all in all, including the dates. Dates have a huge amount of sugar. So we would say, oh, not too good. They have even more sugar than a Coke, a soda. <laughs> There's a lot of sugar in that, yeah. usually. But, but the dates have more than that, but they are healthy. Yeah, there are studies about that because of the phytonutrients and the colors and the dates. The whole the dates are super healthy. So all of this in here is super healthy and it's a very quick meal. And to make it here cooling, I put just some ice cubes in there. That might not be enough for my milk because the milk has to have a little bit of runniness and creaminess. I want to have a milk that is not too runny and not too um, thick in between. So I might use some more water. So begin with a little bit for the blades. Yeah. Here are the blades of the blender. If they have a little bit of water, it goes so much better for them. They're not for the texture, but that comes later, I make it just later. But just for the blades, so the mechanics of it, if you have put a little bit of water in there, it's so much easier for the blender to get the work done. Otherwise, it might begin with a little pause and, you know, don't try. <laughs> a little bit of water goes a long way. So I now begin to blender dance, and then I see if I have to add some more of my water. Blender dance. <laughs> Usually when I blend them uh, longer without the ice cubes, the whole thing gets warm and I have a warm drink. You can always put it in the refrigerator for some time, but it is nice to have it in right now. I, have a, I want to have a drink. I put some ice cubes in there. I can have it right away. But if you have no ice cube, put it in the refrigerator. It's also okay. So this is a little bit too thick. I can see that. But what you can also do is you can also soak the cashews ahead of time. Put the cashews on the water and then you can blend it together with the water for two hours or overnight. Then you have a very easy blending. It goes very fast because yeah. then the cashews are soft. With this I have to do a second blending because I have not soaked the cashews. I saved some time. I will blend a little bit longer. So the texture is almost right. Ah, this Wonderful cooling here. I can feel it already. It's nice fresh from the ice cubes But I have to do a second blending because it's a little bit coarse yet and um, Maybe some more water. Let's see mm. The flavor oops the flavor is wonderful lemony cashew such a nice refresher yeah, A little bit more water. I guess I would nice would be nice a little bit can always add some more. Step by step. Still nice and cool. Blender dance number two. The color is so nice, you know, it's a white cashew milk color. That is also nice with the lemon. The lemon is a anti strong antioxidant, one of the most important properties, qualities of plant food we have. Uh, the antioxidant that shields our body from enemies, uh, toxins or so. Antioxidants are very important. <coughs> lemon are strong in that. So that also keeps um, the milk white from getting brown. Put a banana in there then it immediately gets brown without the lemon. Yes, now the texture is exactly as I would like it. And it's still nice and cool. I taste it again. Mm, I love lemon flavor. So that's only one nut, only a cashew nut. You can do the same milk with any kind of nut. But if you have um, 
a brown nut, the brown skin, like a, let's say, a Brazil nut, then this might not be easy because you have to filter it. Otherwise, it is coarse. The brown skin around the nut that cannot be um, completely blended smoothly. For that, a banana is helpful. Put a banana in there, or a hazelnut, yeah, brown also. With a banana, the little bit of the coarseness from that brown skin in the nut goes away. The fiber in the banana makes it so smooth, yeah, takes it on. But with a cashew, that's no problem. That's why cashews are so nice, because they get so smooth without filtering. Here, see, this is the texture I would like. And it's nice, cool. It's a wonderful cashew, lemony flavor with the dates. You can put more or less dates as you wish. All as you like and as you wish. Yeah. There's no precise measurements here. Yeah. You can do as much as you want with three ingredients only. <coughs> Cashews, dates and lemon. You can do whatever you want, uh, more or less. It's always good. <laughs> That's the good if you have these easy numbers, uh, the small number of the ingredients. It's very easy to adjust. And you begin with a little bit and then you add a little bit and then you have it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you like, like my video, subscribe MD Vegan on YouTube, have another recipe every single day. Feel inspired to make your own. Yeah, I want to show you how to make your own recipes. It's easy. Yeah? Just with a small number of ingredients to begin and then you build upon that. Yeah. Yeah. And if you want to find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter, always welcome. See you soon.